So two step equations. Last week, y'all, we did one step. So we're just adding one more step. You guys have gotten really good at one step, so this shouldn't be a big deal. To solve a two step equation, undo the addition or subtraction first, and then undo the multiplication or division. So in these two steps, your first step is always going to be adding or subtracting. And your second step is always going to be multiplying or dividing. So it's like the opposite of PEMDAS? It's like the opposite of PEMDAS, yeah. What's exactly. So let's look at example one. I'm going to do the triangle circle. I put a triangle around any number that has a variable attached to it. And I circle any number that's just a plain old circle. And I make sure I bring that equal sign down. I split it so I can show that those are two different sides. The triangle circle deal. I do that so you guys can understand that these can't be combined. I can only combine triangles with triangles, which means variables with variables, letters with letters, and plain old numbers with plain old numbers. Because a lot of kids are going to see that and they're going to say, oh, 7V minus 3, that's 4V. And no, it's not. Because these two things can't be combined. So you have to okay. subtract them both? Um, so, sort of. Because you said 4V. And because, but you can't combine those. I'm saying kids would say that that would be 4V. No. So your first step is going to be adding or subtracting. And we always want to start on the side with the variable, which is always the side that has more stuff. So we want to start on this side because we still want to get the variable by itself. So I'm trying to get rid of everything but that. So what can I get rid of on that left side? Since that has more stuff, which of those two things can I get rid of? Okay, so I can't move the 7 because there's no variable over here. What about the 3? Can I move 3? Yes. Yeah, it's a circle. It'll combine with 25. 22 now. So what's the opposite of minus 3? So I'm going to add 3 to get rid of it and add 3 on the other side. So 25 plus 3 gives me 28. And then you subtract. Yes, and I'm going to bring down 7B. So my first step, I added. Now my second step, I'm going to have to multiply or divide. I'm going to divide. Why am I dividing on this one? Last step. Isaac, why? Well, because that's multiplying, right? Mm -hmm. So the opposite would be to divide. So 28 divided by 7? Is 4. Okay. Okay, on example 2, I'm going to rewrite it so my variable is on the left side. So I've got 8. So 8 plus 3x equals negative 10. So I just rewrote it. I just flip flopped the sides. But I'm going to do the same thing. Got a regular number. Got a variable and a number. Oh. So what, which side of that equal sign should I start on? Good, the side with the variable, right? The side that has more stuff on it, pretty much. Which of those two things can I move? Uh, the, the three X. Is there a variable over here I can combine it with? No. Okay, what can I move? The, the three X, because you can't do anything with it. That's the only thing I can move. It doesn't have a sign in front of it, so that means that it's positive. So to move it, we always do the opposite. What's the opposite of a positive 8? Negative 8. Negative 8 or minus 8. Same thing. So that cancels that out on that side. And then use your integer rules. Keep change, change. Negative 10 plus negative 8. Same sign, add and keep. Same sign, add and keep the sign. So negative 18. And I'm going to bring down 3x. So I already did my first step. I subtracted. Now my second step, I've got to multiply or divide. So I've got 3 times something equals negative 18. Negative 6. Good. So i got to divide. So x equals negative 6. Working with this, number one, 4y, so I got a variable, plus 1 equals 13. So think about which side we want to start on. 
Which side should I start on? The left. The left. And so which of these two things that's on the left should I get rid of? The one. The one. Since it's plus one in the problem, it I'm going to minus, minus one to get rid of it. So that leaves me with 12. 4y equals 12. And then your last step, multiplying or dividing. We're going to divide because this is saying that they're being multiplied. So we do the opposite. So then y equals 12 divided by 4. 4, 3. So 4, four three. 3. Down. Miss Chip. Hmm? Okay, number two. I've got 6x plus 2 equals 26. So again, which side am I starting on? The left side here. Which one of those two things can I get rid of? The 2. The 2. If it's plus 2 in the problem, Ooh, I'm going to subtract two. 2 to get rid of it. Minus 2, minus 2. So I'm left with 6x equals 24. And now my last step should be multiplying or dividing. Uh, We're going to divide. So what's 20? Good. 24 divided by 6 is 4. You got it. You have to put a plus 3 uh, under 3. Mm -hmm. And then you have, yeah. So that cancels out. And then uh, it will be um, negative 10. Good. Okay. That would be negative 2. Good, because we're going to divide. Good job. Okay, you can go. Um, so, since we can't move the triangle, mm -hmm. um, we have to do, it would be a negative, or well, minus three on both sides. Good. Uh, um, and remember your integer rules. Yes. Uh, Good, negative 32. Okay. Um, and then... Since the thingy is divide, or since it's multiply, it would be a to b um, um, divide. Good. And then negative eight. Negative eight. Uh, eight, sixteen. Negative four. Good. Positive. Positive, Positive four, because we're dividing two negative numbers. Yeah. Good.